phishing email automation in five minutes. So first I wanna be able to get this email. So I need a webhook for that. Let's grab a webhook. And I know I wanna use the URL scan API. So I'm gonna have to extract out a URL. Uh, I'm gonna use an LLM for this. Uh, and I'm also going to wanna hit the API and later then extract uh, the results from it. I'm just gonna connect this up here. Um, so far so good. I also want to classify the sentiment of the email. So I'm gonna pull an LLM out here. Uh, and then later I want to handle the results of that in a summary over here. So let's just join this up here. Um, cool, so I'm just gonna call this receive suspicious email. Um, it's gonna come from a local host. Let's save that. And now extract uh, to refer to the contents of the webhook. We have this templated JSON path syntax over here where if you put in double curly braces and put a dollar sign with dots in between, you can refer to uh, the previous nodes here. And for, for convenience, you can copy this JSON path over here and paste it down here. And for webhooks, we grab the payload from dot payload. Let's try that. Cool. Then we want, we're gonna wanna extract out the URL, so we'll add the URL here, and we want the LLM to respond to us um, with just a URL and in the format of a string. I'm gonna add a comment here saying, um, must be a valid URL. Cool. Save that. And for this one here, this HTTP request node is gonna be a um, make API call to URL scan. And this URL is, can be found here. We're gonna use a post request. And for the headers, we're gonna wanna put the API key, which can refer to um, with this capital secrets here and this templated, using this templated syntax as well. And before we move on here, uh, just gonna add a payload. And this URL is now gonna be the result of the extract field. So I'm gonna paste that here, and it's what we defined previously to be the URL in the response schema. So I'm just gonna save this. And remember how we added this secrets, capital secrets here? We actually haven't added the API key for URL scan, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that up here. I'm gonna call this URL scan key. Um, and I'm gonna pull it from my secret, from my environment. Variables file, paste it right there, send it. Cool. So now we can refer to that using this template here. Great. The next step is to now, I know, I know that when, when I make this API call here, um, it's gonna give me a result. I'm just gonna pull out from here. And that's actually gonna be in the URL. So we're gonna have to, well, sorry, not this field, but um, this field here. This would be in this field. And we just copy this JSON path from before. We it right here. Um, And this is a if this is just a get request, um, and again we pass in the API key header, like this. Great, and let's call this um, get URL scan report. There we go, and onto this side, we're gonna want the LM to label this, maybe malicious or benign. So let's say malicious. Nine. It's gonna to want to read the message from just from from the previous step. So that's dot payload. Just 
looks like this. This template is syntax again. And our output, we want this to now contain a label, a field called label. That's going to be a string. And also, we want to include a reason for, the, for this label. And that's also going to be a string. Save. Nice. Now, now we have these two branches. We can combine them into the summarize step. And I'm just going to call this summarize. And this is going to take in fields from both the sides of this, from this fork here, these forks here. Um, so I want it to look like this. Um, the scan report is actually just going to be this field here, like that. And I know that um, I also want to grab the labels from this step for label dot label and the reason as well. So that's also label dot reason. And finally, for the response schema, I want it to give me a free form response. So I'm going to leave this blank. Save. Cool. And finally, I want to sync this to a case. I want to open a case. Uh, I can do that by just popping this out over here. And the payload is going to be the output of the summarize step. So that would be done just like this. Um, and I want to wrap it in a JSON object as well. So that would be. Let's call this text. And the output of the summarize of the report summary. And I'm just gonna wrap this in quotations. Give it a label, status, priority. I'm gonna leave this blank. Cool. Here we go. We've built a phishing email automation in five minutes.